Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. This is 2012 Mini Cooper. The beautiful car. Yes, I like it. Okay. Mini Cooper Countryside. Countryside. I love it. Okay. The story of this car here is very, very strange. I was in one of my friend shop try to program or diagnose his car and this and I saw somebody working on this car. Yes. He was doing engine job. Yes, engine job. And he asked me, no, I just look at him and I left. Now, a couple of days later. I get a call or a text, a message in my YouTube channel. He said that I have a, a car, I am fixing it, and I may need to have an extra key. I saw your YouTube, and I contact him by, I tell him where you are. I say, look, I am in Bay Ridge at a shop. This shop is in this location, and this and that's, a, that's a key, the car that I want to fix it for my daughter. She's going to school. I say, okay. Your daughter is my daughter. We're going to fix that car for her. And uh, having a spare key is a peace of mind, so she's not going to miss any lecture by not knowing where is the ferris key or where she put her key. Anyhow, uh, he tell me where you are. I say, I am in uh, Brooklyn. But the way he explained it to me, I say, are you the guy who fixing the car in a shop, uh, red Mini Cooper by uh, this place? in Bayridge by my way. He said, yes. I said, I was next to you asking you where you get these tools and, and this. I said, wow, the world is so smooth. And he's, he's living not far from me. He bring the car here, he did the jobs, but he want to diagnose this car to be sure that everything in this car is okay. So I put a Mini Cooper BMW software original, even if this is like an older one that's now everything if you need it is online correctly to download and make it work online by computer you know like uh, by subscription and bmw subscription is not expensive you can get all you need very very simple i like the color now let me try to do something here okay i'm gonna go try to diagnose this car let me try to record the screen the screen is recording now. I'm gonna go to Ista P. Ista P is for programming. You gotta work with the Ista A. And there is more function like here. There is other way like ISN boot mode, or no, not ISN boot, but there is other way that you can do. You can diagnose the car and uh, program it, not only with Ista P. So let me go to Ista A, Ista A for diagnose. Ignition is here, I have my power. You don't need internet because this is very old uh, software, but it's still working. Okay. Now, this is like if there is any usage node or anything new, but go to operation. Okay, on operation, read out vehicle data. And then go to identification without vehicle test. Or identification with uh, complete identification. Is the ignition on? No. Ignition is on now. Let me start it so that I don't want to put the car in, uh, push the brake. Okay, I start the car, so I don't want to put the car. Do you have any check engine light? I don't see no check engine light, but let us diagnose this car completely. Okay, say okay. Okay. So now, vehicle cannot. He said, I cannot read the vehicle number. I can't believe it. So, yes, we have to connect the ICOM, set up the connection first for the ICOM. You see the VIN number come out here. Hopefully it's free, it's clear. Mini Cooper N N18, all-wheel drive, R60, Cooper SO, all four. This is the information of the car. Even the pen code. 0B16. If you put 0B16 for paint code, it will give you the color right now for the paint. 
So I'm going to wait till I get all identification. Believe me, if you are working on BMW and Minis, please get this software. Even even if you cannot, if, even if you have a regular scanner, get this one. It's kind of old one, but it work. It work fine. But you can get something. Let me try to double click here to make the screen wide here. Double click the screen wider everything there to see better and uh, I like I like to work on those a lot it is good to have this uh, to have this uh, software with you why it give you component location measurement test plan a lot of things now I'm resetting the most try to get everything correctly in time what it's gonna say I'm not sure but stay with it even even it have other stuff like here production date I have it I don't know why it give me a question mark what it say here the online connection to center to central service has been disrupted you see this one here that's mean if you are subscribed it will give you more detailed when you connect online to give you in and out what happened to it. You see the absolute quote. There is an online version and offline version. So let me go here, start vehicle test. The start vehicle test. I will go here. And here it will show us how many computers there. Mass CC, Moose CC, and SDRS CC. Most get most gateway. If this is if this is radio for the same car or maybe they update it maybe they update it with something here uh oh no this is they updated I believe and when they update it they update this screen is not original that's why I am getting three of them are not working three of them M A S K C C C Moose Gateway and other stuff they have code and up to now I have 41 codes and as I told you any any red that means it's not communicating let me show you what they are mean by this please everybody there anyone there outside all people outside there if you work on BMW a lot, get something like this. Also get a laptop with completely uh, ready to go software that can do all BMW, Mercedes or BMW correctly, diagnose and everything. Uh, did you, this is aftermarket radio, right? Yes. That's why I am getting the mask CCC and Moose Gateway and the SDARS, they are not communicating. That's the radio communication system because you eliminate them so that's one we till now we have 41 quotes for all modules for maybe general 41 quotes but maybe some of them as just just like the battery code right or code is there shadow is there and never been reset like yes. airbag light is on yes it could be there is a problem with the airbag system anything that is code is there right. we know so right now i'm gonna go to display memory because we already no communication with the satellite that's re relating to radio no communication with the headlight head unit it's a moose gateway okay now we have uh, the charging pressure control switch off as consequences vanos intake camshaft is stuck exhaust control fault camshaft is stuck S you know super knocking knock sensor faulty Super knocking in emergency operation. Knock sensor electrical signal. Input B short. Engine oil pressure control valve activation line disconnected. Those could be memory. It could be right now. We cannot trust anything right now. We just see, record and clear. Okay. So now oil pump pressure too low. That's what you you scared about, that's, right? That's the problem that I'm having. The oil light will come on. Mm -hmm. That the check engine, you know, the, the limp mode will come on afterwards. Okay, 
and then you have to turn the ignition on and off then everything go away and then they come back yeah okay now let's see here i have a disc control voltage fault on the disc two so i'm gonna go more uh let me go on the disc okay now i have another one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven now i have the disc control disc brake pad like the brake pad the it's brake finished. light is on maybe Did you the clear uh, them? maybe the um the brake pad sensor yeah if the brake pad sensor yeah. if you replace it it's still you two things you need to do after you change the brake yeah. the brake also need to be reset and the brake pad yeah, when they finish reset. also yeah. maybe they need to reset it if you yeah. put a good sensor yeah they didn't they didn't reset you have to reset it to zero percent to zero percent or hundred percent good there is some okay. sequences yeah they didn't do voltage it. under voltage closed circuit current violation is thermal cluster because you do something here i don't yeah. know so those code they come uh, side airbag passenger side that's why this airbag yeah. light on he says side back yeah i have uh, up in here i have the uh, bypass because these seats okay these it's are different. different seats oh so you put a sport ah, seat and you, you don't go. have oh. there you go okay i just wanna i'm just curious about this so seat belt catch contact seat yeah, belt position sensor that, huh? seat belt because you change yep. the seat yep. to the sport yep. beautiful aftermarket yep. that's okay it's good to know okay now that's all those code under voltage under voltage okay control unit fault under voltage input brake light impossible supply terminal select the level interlock that cause high beam turn off light faulty dipped beam right faulty your light are good um, it has Fog led bulbs in it so, so I think if you that's put if you put yeah. led light yes, they it would not correspond yeah Correct. so we're not we are not we have no problem with all this yeah. dme dd receive disc transmit did you know abs code yeah. no communication with the headlight unit because you replace it so what i'm going to do is i will turn the engine off turn the ignition on mm -hmm. our concern here is about the oil pressure switch that's the big one so now let me go to calculate the test plan before i delete all this code to know because if i delete it it never come the position sensor for the abs i don't mind about that yeah yeah i don't mind about that I, my knock sensor and charging no brake also have no problem no brakes are let, let me read all the codes yeah. and then i will go only for Oil pressure. Uh, oil pressure. Yeah, that's a big one. And see what happened. Also, the vanos. Vanos is stuck. They say the vanos exhaust. Okay, radio supply. I don't have no problem. Let me go now down. It come to twenty seven. Okay, <laughs> that's Tw it. Twenty seven hints. So that's the more important. The forty seven is still there. Okay. I gotta go down. Air condition supply relay, cars supply energy oil pressure i have oil pressure let me a knock sensor so knock sensor oil pressure i want to see if the seat seat starting function no problem tear indicator i have no problem low beam no problem start function slide vanos i have vanos solenoid valve exhaust vanos solenoid valve exhaust vanot van, uh, vanos solenoid valve inlet so the vanos, you know those, the one that open and close, advance, uh, retard the timing for engine performance or how the car running. Mm -hmm. Also, it have, it have to do with the oil pressure. If the oil pressure is not enough, it will not be able to open or you know like advance. Something like that have to be okay. with, related to. So vanos, vanos, power supply, steering column switch. That I don't have no problem. So let me go back to oil switch. What is going on? And that got replaced. Oil oil pressure regulating valve. Mm -hmm. The oil pressure regulating valve. This one, number six. I want to know what it is. What's mm -hmm. going on and where it's located. He give you a hint. He give you information. Where is the place? Okay. Engine oil pressure control valve activation line disconnection. Oil pump pressure low. Too low. So they had to remove the old one and mm. replace a new one. But if you had to clear it, that the clearing wasn't done. 
uh, oil pressure regulator valve, remove oil, remove oil pressure control valve, and increase mm -hmm. fuel consumption. Okay. Okay, this is a detail. Voltage recognition, none. Temperature condition, none. Condition for fault. Time condition, none. Other country condition, activation oil pressure. Terminal statue, terminal. Check the line and plug connection. Okay. They say that uh, it could be a computer, it could be oil pressure regulator valve, remove oil pressure control valve. It it could be, uh, you know, so like that's what they did. They replaced. The, I guess he put it on the computer. The computer told them that this was messed up. He, I ordered the pieces. What about the oil pump itself? No, he said the oil pump was good. It, it threw out the valve. So we replaced the oil pump solenoid. I think it's called. He replaced that. Did they clear it? Most likely not. So maybe that's why it's showing up. But no, he... oil oil pump pressure too low. Engine oil pressure control valve activation line disconnected. On on the line pressure, they're supposed to be a. They're supposed to be a, a, a electrical connector on it or no? Yeah. Hmm? I, I have no idea. Yes, I think it does happen. Is it well connected and uh, coming all the way to the engine computer? They, they did it. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, if, if the if the wire is there. Okay. Let me continue for the first one. Here is here is a sensor. You see this? Hello? Mister you see this piece here? Is this what they change? I I believe see, I ordered you see, that too. You see I, this? I bought I ordered three pieces so mm -hmm. they could change anything oil that pressure, has to do with pressure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> precise oil pressure control within the engine oil pressure sensor is ceramic plate container gold plate. This piece here is the one that reading the information of the oil pressure and send it back to the computer. It's not the valve itself. Well, we changed. I changed everything. I, I think I said just them this that. sensor. Yeah. Take. A, I'm gonna take a picture yeah. for it. But this sensor here is say that. Um, an engine oil pressure sensor is connected with a three pin plug connector. The engine management control unit supplied the unit with five volt reference. The measurement range between zero to five to 4.6 volt with the com you know correspond oil pressure. So if the oil pressure is not enough while the car is running and you see that there is a glitch on this sensor, it may create it may create a false reading, false something like oh, this one, this one. I wanna. I want to see what remedy it has to be done, but it start by the oil pressure, or this is a, you see how it is, map control oil pump with the oil pressure control valve. Here also is another information about it. This is, okay. For this engine, re-red check control message may be displayed on the car. Temporary oil pressure fluctuation due to insufficient oil level. Temporary oil pressure fluctuation due to contamination in the engine oil. Carry out the output. Check oil level. Top it. Engine oil if it's necessary. Check engine for oil contamination. Replace engine oil if it's necessary. All this you need to check. And all this they did. So this is what we ordered. Yeah, but this one here, I know is for... That's okay. that, that piece that you see over there on the pump. Yeah, in, this is mini engine oil pump solenoid valve. Yeah, this is a that. solenoid valve. But this solenoid valve also, it can work. Uh, but computer can send signal to open it and close. Right. But don't forget to be sure that the this is the one that you change it. But you may have to change. You may have to check the small connection also if it's reading good. And he say for the ferris coat, you have to check all this. Check engine oil for contamination. Replace engine oil and this one. Let me go continue. Measure oil pressure. Check wires and plug connection. Check component oil pressure engine oil test with the feedback you know like all this you need to do on this in this particular quotes uh, and each one it have his own own way the oil pressure determined by the engine oil pressure sensor is checked by the following measurement I'm gonna try to check it right now run the engine at the item see if the oil pressure is good or not accelerate pedal not 
press down this oil temperature 60 centigrade okay cool is next good let me see now how the measurement the, the computer the starter of the function oil pressure control function check aborted function check terminated current oil temperature 85 85 centigrade I don't, want, I don't know what I'm going to tell you, yeah. but it have a, 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 a step by step measurement. Yeah. Like here, measure measured value is 0, 0.00 valve. You see, engine oil pressure now. Yeah. It says 0, 0.00 bar. A step point value 1.5 to 6.5 depend on the operating point. Should another measurement point to be displayed? You know, like I don't see what. You know, like, you look at it like there is nothing. And it have some special tools that people can use it, like this one here. But maybe I gotta go back. You see, this is, you see the oil filter? Yes. When they put it in, it have a special tools. This is what I like about BMW tools. This tool, they put it on the cup of the oil filter and they measure the, the pressure. oil pressure here. Okay. And then the, 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 the measurement value is supposed to be Right, that, that you you understand? Correct. And, and That's how you check the pressure. Uh -huh. We need to be sure that our pressure is, is correctly correct. hand tight. All this one here, and then when you start it, engine start observes the diagnosis instruction supposed to be like this. So I don't, I don't know about it, but there is something have to be taken care of it correctly. Okay, let me see measure oil pressure, right? Maybe I don't have all. Okay. I get disconnected from here. The conclusion of this one here is that we know let me try just to delete okay let me go back to one more which is uh, that the oil pressure issue and the vanos I am not in a repair you know like I just try to get the, collect the information what need to be done and if there is something like that a fault of the following component is stored oil pressure sensor the vanos the oil pressure sensor or oil pressure control valve ferris continue troubleshooting you know we come back again to the same place that even those vanos you see this here is controlled by the oil uh -huh. you know this this solenoid is controlled by the oil you know like as soon as the oil pressure go open it push the timing front and back to see so we have an issue with oil pressure system and we have to be sure you change only the the oil pump you didn't change it right no, the pump itself now so you know that you are you are changing the sensor that measuring the pump the sensor that activated by the pump you did not now you're talking to me i have high blood pressure or i have this one we don't look at the reason who is the pump in the the oil itself to go up right it's the oil pump right and i know it's sitting all the way in there by the timing nobody want to go inside there to touch it uh, but if you ever change it when you rebuild the engine it's okay if you just have the engine new it's okay but i'm not sure what is the situation of the part? I, I know. had asked, does the oil pump have to be changed? I was told no. It's the solenoid. So I said, fine. Because if he no. said the pump had to be changed, you change, change the pump. I don't care. Change because, it. Because first of all, we have to address that those sensors have nothing to do with the pump, with the pressure. Those are reading. The sensor is to read right. The, right. the sensor. Right. The other solenoid maybe is to regulate the pressure that coming from inside yeah. to regulate it, to open it, to do this one here right. in order for something right. to work. But I have low pressure. I have to look at my compressor first. Right. I have to be sure the compressor is pushing the pushing oil good 
right. endorsing, maybe regulate it right. or adjust it not to <laughs> overfollow. Right. Right. So if your sensor is good, the wiring is good. Right. Huh? I, 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 I will address my pump ferris and if I don't have enough bar like the way it stay here, like even here it say that okay continue. Okay, let me continue here. Do you want to continue with the uh, procedure? Yeah. He just on, on when we come to Vanos, the Vanos say look, I have a problem is the following fault is received for the test Vanos exhaust control and the Vanos work with the oil pressure. Check lines plug check Vanos solenoid, check timing, check Vanos adjuster. You know, like, they, they all going to... My my point is, you see, those are what I told you. They all going to address our oil pump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all the codes, delete everything. Yeah. Take that code, uh, the, 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 the pressure, the sensor, the, the oil pressure, like they say, they need to measure it correctly to be sure that the... The the the, the 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 oil pressure is reaching the normal operation, at least. Yes. Well, we need that tool. To if they need a tool, or they have to. If he's a mechanic, that he have some tools, he have to know. At least he have to stand somewhere. I'm I'm, I'm uh, in a position where I'm not trusting. Uh, I'm not trusting them too much. I have I have one guy. I'm gonna tell you about it. I have two people that I trust them. They may not be far from you. One is, uh, um, this is one of the tests. This is just by putting it in on the top of the oil pump, right? On top of the oil filter. Yeah, you, you tie the oil filter yeah. and you put this one on it. Yeah. And you start the car and I, I supposed to get the pressure, the same pressure that's supposed to be yeah. while the car is running, how many bar I'm getting yeah. while the car is not pressing. Right. And the sensor gives the job, this, uh, the sensor that is on the other side, it gives you the information the sensor that on the other side, it give you, it give the computer the information if the the pressure is enough or not, yeah. and the computer there will look, hey, look, my pressure is not within the specification yeah. based on the RPM, based on the car running. Right. <laughs> you got it? No, no, I understand. Yeah. We just need somebody with this tool that could. You don't need this tool. Maybe yeah. it's not expensive. No, it's get, only a hundred dollars. Yeah, get it and do it yourself. Well, I can't do it myself. I'm not no damn mechanic. Uh, I saw you. I saw you rip off the oh, whole car yeah, yeah. piece I could by take piece. It out. I could take things apart. The same thing. <laughs> measure, them back measurement on. is just like some a book that you never read it and you want to read it. Get the information out of it. Uh, it put it in. Take the oil pump, uh, oil uh, oil from the top. Type this one here. Put it on the top. Start the car. It's good. It's yeah. good. I think that's a joke. And buy and buy the buy the oil filter also one time to put it in. I have an oil filter. So when you take this one, like you want to change the oil filter. Yeah. Okay. When you put the oil filter. You, when you put the oil filter, yeah. don't put the cover of the oil filter, you unlock it. You put this yeah. one, you tight it, yeah, yeah. and you start the car and leave it there running. Right. You will know that, oh, my my uh, my uh, my bar, is it because measuring by bar, it will tell you. Yeah. Uh -oh. I may have to stop here. Um, please subscribe, share, and like. And if you have any idea, please give it to us. But I see that uh, we may need to have... Okay, let me close this one. Yes, I'm going to clear all this code and then come back again. Let me go back, uh, turn the key off. Please, if you guys have any idea or any suggestion, please let us know. Okay, now ignition is on. I'm going to delete all this memory. Yes, I'm going to delete all the memory and then start the car, see what code is going to come. By, by uh, they say that, yeah, Mahmoud, you need something? So right now the conclusion is I'm going to leave this car. I'm going to turn the, 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 the computer off, the scanner off. I will turn it on again. I will come only after I turn all. Okay, here, let me, let me clear all the codes. But the problem is if, if, if there is no code, where I put the key? If there is no code, I will not be able to run the test. So hopefully there is no code, but if there is a code, but well, it's not easy to get this connector back. Do I have to play with it to put it back? No. Let me see. Okay, this is like this. Yeah, like that. Huh? Give me some help. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. So now I'm gonna turn the ignition on, and I will look at. This I supposed to say about that one. What the, 
I suppose discuss this one live with together. So the history of the car is that the guy was driving, the engine seized, he w took it out, he changed the crankshaft, rod, piston, but still maybe he did not. I have to push here to turn it off. This is aftermarket radio, which is good. I am going to uh, learn all the quotes again. I know they are scored that they will come back by themselves. Okay. And after that, I will... Uh, Okay, after I read all the information, I will see to start running the car to see if the sensor is not reading good or there is anything with the oil pressure. But I prefer to get the mechanical one because mechanical one will tell me exactly if I have a pressure or not. Please subscribe, share a like and give us your opinion. Maybe the sensor is disconnected. Yes, it could be the sensor is no good also. Okay, I don't have no quotes now for the engine. So I don't believe it's gonna be there, but I will. I would prefer to get the mechanical. Let's hear. Where is the engine oil housing? Right over here. This is like this one saying. This okay, yeah. This is this is the one that with the clips here. Have, uh, no, this is the pressure. Okay, Maybe it's okay. down. This is the, the oil filter. You're looking the at? oil filter yeah, is supposed to be right somewhere. It's over here. It's on this side. Uh, it's supposed to be like a big with. Uh, yeah, it's. That's what I'm saying. This no, don't open. You don't need to open it. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> it's right. Yeah, I know. It's in this area right here. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. It's like we had to take this or to take that or to take this off. It's yeah, we, we, uh, the oil pressure could be also. Also, where is the cover for this? You don't need to leave it exposed like this. No, too. I didn't yeah. have it exposed. Yeah, when you have time, get it and put it in. Yeah. Anyhow, this is not an easy car that to keep opening it. You have to take the whole front end out just to to start working on it correctly, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the oil, the oil filter you could get to. You have to just you know, remove this. This is all plastic things. This yeah, yeah, I know. You have to it's open right it. in this area That's right here. Area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see what code left for me. I don't see the check engine light now for the oil, but I know there's four, the vanos, the oil switch. Okay, now I have 16 quart, no ABS quart. You see a uh, seat belt and uh, most side edge. Also, I have the, yeah. I don't have something that, okay, let me go. The brake sensor, brake wear indicator. But I don't have the air, the, the oil light. The only thing left here now, let me try to get, let me try to get uh, another tool to see if I have uh, the oil pressure. I wanna see if the oil pressure is there. The oil pressure sensor is gonna be there. But now, I don't see anything. Maybe I will go to uh, service function and then powertrain, engine electronics, component list, checking compression of all cylinder, compression test now. I don't see that here. Engine electronic. I don't see anything there on on component list. Engine electronic, component DME, DME, fuel, vanos adaptation position, crankcase, variation time, checking, compression of cylinder. I don't know what you have there. I don't see anything there. So let's just go back vehicle information. 
I don't have anything here. Let me just see the the seat. No, the ABS. Brake wear. I'm gonna do this one here. Calculate test plan for the brake wear. This brake wear. Display. Yeah. Okay, let me see what you need. Continue. I gotta reset it. You see here, do you wanna reset it? The zero value of the rear axle zero. Are the readout values possible for the actual brake? Maybe I have to go to the service and do that. I have to go to vehicle information. Service function. Chassis. Maintenance Reset Base You're gonna come here reset Display All this you can reset it All this information. Supposed to be a test plan. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't want to take, maybe I make a mistake, but anyhow, this is not our priority. Our priority is to our priority is to have this oil issue taking care of it. I'm going to use another car and I will look at the, uh, the sensor itself, the oil pressure, and other tools to see how does it work. Maybe this one here, I'm not going to get it the correct way. Please subscribe, share and like, and see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.